Thank you, Honorable Deputy Speaker, Honorable Members of this House. Allow me to acknowledge on behalf of the National Freedom Party that much has been done in respect of land redistribution. Uh, however, Honorable Minister, the question that must be asked is not what has been done, but rather how much must be done in order to address the serious challenges our people face 22 years into democracy. Honorable Minister, what is very clear that the majority of the land and wealth is still in the hands of a few privileged. Honorable Minister, these privileged few oppressed the poorest of the poor for hundreds of years, forcefully removed them, stolen the land, and yet 22 years later, these privileged few continue to enjoy the fruits of their oppression. Honorable Minister, let me cite just one example. The Amman, the Bele, Moletlane tribe of Hamanskaral and surrounding areas, Mr. Minister, it's 100 years ago today that this tribe purchased some of this land lawfully from the white colonialists. And yet today, ownership still eludes the honorable minister. The Moton Report 38 of 1995 and the Special Dynamics Research and Recommendation in 2013 both recommended the transfer of the seven trust herbal tribal farm, but to date this has not been done. Ownership of this trust held farms ought to have been transferred immediately on acceptance of the report, but government neglects, fails, and or deliberately either refuses or delays the implementation thereof. The trust is wrongfully and unlawfully divided, rezoned, and alienated portions of three previously purchased land. Honorable Minister, over two million people are affected by this as repeated attempts to address this with several departments including ministers and the president, but these continue to be deprived of the lawful possession and right of what is rightfully theirs. Honorable Minister, we can talk about what we did and where the question is, what is different about these people? These are our South African brothers and sisters that also suffered under the oppression of apartheid, having their rights violated, having their land stolen, dehumanized, and one would expect that the new democratic dispensation will correct the abuse and suffering that our people endured for centuries under this colonialist and imperialist apartheid regime. Now, Honorable Minister, the question is, when and when will government take our people seriously and return to them what is lawfully theirs? The time to talk well, ended 10 years ago, Honorable Minister, and it was time for action. So we urge you to address this matter with extreme urgency and compassion and return to the people, especially the Amandebele Moletlane tribe without any further delay. Should this not be done, Honorable Chair uh, Minister, it appears that a legal matter is pending. Should this happen, it means hundreds of millions of rands will have to be spent. Honorable Minister, the National Freedom Party urges the department to address the, the needs of these people and ensure that land that has been taken is redistributed without, redistributed without any further delay. Honourable I thank member, you. Your term has expired.